what's up everyone starting this beautiful day off heading to a pizza place right now grab some lunch and then we'll see what we're doing from there See you, I have the salad bar. I got the unlimited soup package. Oh my god, dude, they have a guitar hero. Dude, Chad, let's get down on Guitar Hero. He has one quarter. What could what I can get for get? I don't know. Can you imagine having a steering wheel like this? Like it's a oh gun. my god, dude. We should do a challenge. Drift like this. They literally have oh, Minecraft no. over here. What is it? Oh, is this Trials HD? I got a fucking F40 four speed. I got a dog box. Do you have a dog box? Look at this dog box right here. The Berkey's on the simulator. I can't believe they have a full simulator rig. This dude. Turn the multiplayer on. Wow, he literally spits out immediately. <laughs> Dude, they're like drifting and stuff. How do you do that? Smells delicious. Chow with that takeout pizza. Quickly stopping at the trailer, and then we're gonna go to some place called the Tulip Festival. This is it. We're about to load up. Check out the Tulip Festival. Brandon recommended this to us yesterday. Said it is a must visit when you're in Washington because it only lasts for like a certain amount of time. So we're gonna check this out and I hope it's sick. Clearly, we, came, we found the hot spot. Punchy, and look at that. Look at that. This is the hot spot. Chow, good call on the bubble tea, man. Amazing. If you guys don't know by now. That it? That's CA18? Yeah. Oh, it's right Dude, that's actual Sylvia. Thank you, sir. I like, I like this shit. <laughs> I got a 69 and 70, but he went to the bathroom. So it's pretty fire, Chow. This is, we have to give it the official review though. Better or worse than our favorite so far. <laughs> this is it. I'm kind of excited. I haven't had Thai tea, bubble tea. It's honestly delicious. Oh shit! Dude, this dude is stanced out! Chow, this is the spot, bro! That's a Camry. Damn, this shit, this shit is fire! Holy shit! Smell it. things burnt to a crisp! Alright, so that was cool. But, uh, I think we might be done for the night. Uh, it's like 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock right now. But tomorrow, when we pick this video back up in the next clip, we have to work on this thing. Um, there's a private track day, I guess, that we're hitting on Wednesday. So we need to like figure out some battery stuff and some other little stuff. But yeah, we'll get back. We'll have more of that in just a second. All right, next day, taking a trip to O'Reilly's. I need a battery, a tie down, some wiring, a few other little things. Do they not carry them here? 
Oh man, are we gonna have to go to another store? <laughs> I noticed yeah. they have a lack of Optima batteries. We're gonna have to have a battery box, but I need to look up their rules. Oh, I think they're rules. $13 yeah, right there. Yeah, very cost effective. Mm. This stuff is basically soap. Seriously, uh, that's dude, all it is. It's allowed. Evergreen specifically says you need this jam. Gotta quickly run by this Napa and grab a coolant overflow. Getting ready to head to the shop. We gotta load up the generator and the gas can because uh, we're about to hitch up in a little bit and uh, I'd rather have the truck full and the generator full before the trailer is attached. Alright, we're hitched up, ready to head to the shop. Did you guys find anything for uh... Drink it. I mean, that seems legit. Again, and you'll hit a point where it, you, it's just not going anywhere anymore. Does that seem like it's in? Yeah, it would kind of see. Let's see. Let's see if it grabbed or not. Brandon's putting it in the eyes. Yeah, my friend's doing this wide body on his RX-7 using these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a friend who does all the Yeah, that's his, how we did all, all our the side and stuff. Yeah, I love them. No big deal. That's gonna work out good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, dude. Yeah. I'm trying to find a spot for the battery because it being in the trunk, um, we found out that it had a slight voltage drop issue. Um, we tested it, it had 13.9 uh, at the alternator, and then what was it? 13.3? Yeah, 13.3 at the back. So, car basically cut the cable down. We're trying to shorten the cable as much as possible. Um, so, now we're just basically trying to pick where we want to put the battery itself. And uh, he's thinking back there on that thing. Are you guys going to show us the SR? Yeah, it's got a Phillips screw head in it. It's legit. <laughs> <laughs> So, that's where the body's gonna go. Come here. Oh, uh, see a boy over there. Come here. Oh, oh my god, he's so soft. Hey, what's up? Look at this. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. It's a girl. Good girl. This is amazing. He's alive. Hey. Oh, lifting it with his right hand. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bending the plastic down or anything? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. I'm saying this, this seat is very fancy. You think it's what? It's very fancy, the seat. All right, okay, not it for the back. I'll take the back yeah, all so day. Okay. Brandon's <laughs> taking us to get some eats right now. Oh, you, want, you guys want toothpaste? Toothpaste? We got toothpaste for... Oh, oh I mean, we might need that for the trailer. Yeah, somebody might need that. Beats my dread. Just toss them. We call it BK Lounge because we. Is that Dan Cook? We, we, we eat, no, we just eat there a lot, so there's like a nice little area in there. <laughs> you gotta live into this state, right? Oh, that's not even that 11 bad. bad. 11 months. That's not even that bad. That's so bad. Yo. For real? Dude, literally. Alright, so car has been grinding on this thing. Got the fans wired up on an independent relay slash switch so that the ECU is not controlling them and we can control the heat problem. Check out this dope battery setup. It's no longer back here. Here's what was in it before. It's a little tiny guy, super small. But thanks to Brandon, we got an Optima in there. Yeah, dude. We got to pull the truck and trailer behind the shop so we could camp out for the night. It's a little bit tight down there, but I'm gonna have to make it happen. Before you click these on, let me explain the backstory. So, uh, basically, the ECU was running this fan on full blast, which is why we put the power steering cooler on this side, and then it was running this fan on like 25% speed until it saw fit. So, Carr put them both on a relay, so they're just maxed out the whole time. 
a mini tornado in my engine bay. So we're in a kind of a quiet area. Brandon is letting us bum an extension cord from the shop all the way to the trailer's power. I want it to be long enough to make it to the damn door, see? <laughs> I always get to this point and it just stops. Stop. This thing is basically ready to go. We can't start it tonight because it's really late. It's like one in the morning and there's people that like live right over there. So we can't make noise. You guys will see this tomorrow. Little spoiler, we got some private track time. So expect that. I'm gonna be running this car um, with the new modifications there. As you can see, we got the overflow now. So when it spits all the water out, it'll be able to suck it back in, which is nice. And car got those fans done up so that the ECU no longer has control. I could just flick them on and lower that temperature. Um, so yeah, we have private track time at Evergreen Speedway tomorrow, which will be sick because there will be no line. It's just like us and, a, and like a few other people. It's like four or five other people and we could just run back to back to back and I could burn all the tires that I brought for the first open drift day. But now we'll have the opportunity to just keep running the car. And I'm super excited because this thing rips. It ripped in the open drift and with me being able to just keep running it back to back to back, I should probably get decent you know, at controlling it and running through the course. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I think today will mark the official start of like the daily vlog, I guess you can say it. I don't want to call it that because as you can see here, this was two days of film combined to make one video and sometimes I'm just, just going to have to do that. So today marks that start. Official daily vlogger here. What's going on everybody? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to clean up. Brandon's got to bounce. We're gonna get some sleep, because like I said, private track time tomorrow. Expect that video. It's gonna be sick. Peace out. See you tomorrow. We have Charles doing it.